Okay, this is part six of our series of techniques and strategies for how to play your best game even when under pressure. Let's quickly review the first five tactics, shall we? One, mentally rehearse being in pressured situations. Plan how you will think at that moment and imagine perfect execution of your skills. Two, get in the present moment directing your mind to your five senses. Three, use comparisons of bigger things in your life to reduce the importance of the event and therefore reducing the pressure. Four, have one thing to lock your eyes and your mind onto. Five, build trust by using your phrase to get your analyzer out of the way. So what if none of those work for you? What if you just read those tactics, heard it from me here, but you didn't actually practice them in advance before competition? What do you do if you can't remember anything and you're frozen or tense with fear from the pressure and it's time to perform? That's what you can do. You and it. I call this technique, it's an and world. When all else fails, just go with the fear and tension and nervousness. Don't fight it. Embrace it. Quote, what you resist persists. Carl Jung, famous psychologist. What? I hear you saying. Craig, you've been telling me that fear nerves the enemy for these last five tips and now you're telling me to embrace them? Me. Ah, uh, yes. Because that's all you can do at this point. And world means that you can feel the nervousness, the tension, and still perform great. Get this. Feelings like pressure, nervousness, frustration, and all the rest, biologically speaking, are nothing more than chemical releases in your body. They're your own natural chemicals. The chemicals latch onto the cells of your body and they tell the cells to do something. That do something is a feeling. Like tight muscles, flush skin, shaking. So here's the kicker. If and when you next feel those fear chemicals, what you want to do is and them. Like this. Wow, look at that. That's interesting. I'm feeling some chemicals of fear right now. Nerves twitching, muscles a little tense, huh? Wow. And I'm going to nail this move while feeling them. You see, it's the mental resistance to your chemicals and the bodily reaction you get from them. That is a huge part of what actually interferes with your performances. It's your attitude. It's fear of the fear itself. What you don't want to do is something like this. Oh, wow, I'm nervous. This is not good. I'm in trouble. I need to calm down. Calm down. Breathe deep. Yes, calm down. Yes, need to relax. No, you don't need to relax. It's too late for that. If you're in a high pressured situation and already feeling those pressure chemicals and you're just about to go and perform, there's no amount of breathing or thinking that's going to send those chemicals back to where they came from so that you calm down. That takes time. And you don't have the time. This is the method of last resort. The best you can do at this point is to go with the pressure feelings. Now here's the attitude you want to take. Woo! Look at that! Woohoo! feeling some awesome chemicals at this amazing moment in my sports career. How cool is that? This is what I do. This is why I'm here. Woo! I'm really feeling it. Bring it on. Let's do this. I can feel these chemicals and score this point while feeling them. <laughs> There's loads of stories of top athletes everywhere who were scared to death and shaken in their shoes and perform brilliantly. Also, you can channel and direct that energy you are getting from the feelings into a laser beam focus about what you're doing. That high energy, that excellent fuel for extreme focus. And when you practice feeling your chemicals and still doing what you need to do while feeling them all throughout your regular life, you condition yourself to be able to do it under pressure for your sport just 
the same. You see, the great thing about the mental game, unlike your physical game, is that you can work on it anywhere, everywhere. The and world technique works for all emotions, by the way. Other times and you know, where your opponent gets to you, maybe you get angry, trash talking, you need to keep your cool and not let it affect your play, right? That's when you and it. Other times in your regular life where you also feel angry from actions of others. Can you practice and world during those times? Of course you can. And after a while, going with your emotions and feelings instead of fighting them becomes your default habit. That's what overall emotional mastery is all about. I'll tell you more about mastering your emotions to become a fearless competitor in future trainings. You want to get that. That's my best work. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigel, your mental toughness trainer.